All right, so what's up guys? This is Stinky Heat coming back at you guys again with another video. So today I'm just gonna be going over Love is Rage 2. I know this isn't like anything sneaker related or clothing related, but music is like a big thing to me and I really enjoy music and I love like going in depth into music and my opinions on music. So this is my way of just like sharing it to you guys. If you guys don't like it, let us know. But if you do like it, let us know and I'll keep doing it. So what I did was I listened to the album again. It's been about a week and a half or maybe two weeks since the album came out. I've had all that time to listen to it but what I did was I listened to it another time right before this video and I took notes on every song and you know what I like about it what I don't like about it and you know all that stuff so starting with track one which is named two I think that it's a really great intro to this album and you know it's just like a slow intro that you expect on really any album not really getting into much it's more about like the beat and like the melody and like the mood of it just to like get you started to go into the album I really like the girl in the beginning narrating just like on love is rage one forgot which song it was i think 7 a.m when you know uzi falls asleep and she's like uzi wake up blah 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 i don't know if it's the same girl but it kind of it sounds like the same girl so i'm just gonna say it's the same girl but it's like a continuance to that and i think that that's really cool now in this song he's just pretty much going over and kind of bragging about how he influenced or at least in his opinion has influenced a lot of new people in the music industry and influenced a lot of people's music and you know it's just like pretty much changing the industry and how he added his own own style to it and people are stealing it or whatever he's doing he's just bragging pretty much basic Uzi stuff that we hear all the time and this song is one of my favorites on this album now going into song number two which is 444 plus 222 obviously 666 but you know I don't know Uzi's just kind of stupid when it comes to his song titles like EXO Tour Life like has nothing to do with what the song is and life is spelled weird you guys already know now this song is very bass heavy and that's mostly all music nowadays but this song is just very bass heavy it's got a really catchy hook unfortunately though around like the two and a half three minute mark the hook gets really repetitive that's just to me it just gets really repetitive and I think the song should be shorter it would have had a lot more impact moving on to track three sauce it up I remember when the snippets for this song were first put out they were blowing up everywhere everybody was so hyped for this song and I don't know if it lived up to the hype I think it did but I think that the hype was a lot more than what the popularity of the song is right now again another bass heavy song with a really catchy hook and it's just Uzi you know just flexing about what he has and you know whatever now no sleep leak it has really good vocals from Uzi which most of this album does you know at first I liked it like the first couple days but as I kept listening to it the song kind of got like really repetitive and old to me pretty fast that's just my opinion on it so that's pretty much it now number five the way life goes this is just the perfect love song and Uzi always prospers on these type of songs and he needs to make more of them it's very well written you could tell that he really put a lot into this song and I really don't think there's any curses even though it says explicit next to the song I don't think he curses in it I mean I could be wrong but I just really don't think he does which is kudos to him the beat on this song though is just so beautiful and it really makes the song what it is and this song is definitely I think it is my favorite on this whole album now number six for real the snippets for this song were I think the most popular ones out of all the snippets for love is rage 2 that Uzi like you know put out there but you know I was so hyped for this song and I just feel like it wasn't done good at all I feel like the song, especially in the beginning, is all over the place with the beat and the laser shooting. Like it's not even in like the melody of the song and it just makes no sense whatsoever. And it gets really, really repetitive and really, really old pretty fast. I mean, I can listen to this song for about the first maybe minute and a half, two minutes before I want to just shut it off because all he keeps saying is for real, for real, for real. It's like Playboy Cardi. That's why I don't like Playboy Cardi either. But the bass on this song is insane. Now, number seven, Feelings Mutual. I really don't have a lot to say about this song. I used to like it. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. The hook on it's pretty cool. I just don't see myself going back to it to listen to it. It's not like an annoying song. It's not repetitive to me, at least. I mean, yet, but I just don't see myself listening to it a lot. Now, number eight, Neon Guts featuring Pharrell Williams. I'm probably gonna get the most hate for this song in particular on this video, but I just really don't like it. I gotta kind of blame it on the beat and Pharrell Williams. Now, I have no problems with Pharrell Williams. I usually like stuff that he does, you know, songs and whatever his features. But I just feel like it doesn't sound like Pharrell Williams on this song. And it's definitely not one of his best songs. Uzi definitely does better on this song than Pharrell Williams. And that really says a lot because 
we all know Pharrell Williams is like a genius and one of the many goats in music. And for Uzi to surpass him, even though he's a feature on Uzi's song and the album, I mean, come on. Now, number eight, Early 20 Rager. Immediately when I heard this song, I just got this Travis Scott vibe and it's from the effects on his voice and not really his flow or like what he's saying, but mostly from like the effects on his voice and the background vocals. The effects are really cool and the background like harmonizing vocals really completes the song and puts the song together really well and this is definitely one of my favorite songs on this album now pretty mommy again one of my favorite songs on this album the background vocals definitely complement the main vocals of the song really well and puts the song together just like in the last song it's a bass heavy song and it's just really good and i find myself listening to it a lot now number 12 how to talk i like this song when i first heard it but upon more listens to the song i really just wasn't feeling it anymore and i realized that the whole song kind of felt rushed. Now song 13, X produced by Metro Boomin and Pierre Bourne. Immediately you already know that the beat is gonna be amazing just from hearing those two names, like two of the biggest producers in the game right now, especially Pierre Bourne coming off of that whole Playboy Cardi, Magnolia, Clout. But this song is really good with a really catchy hook. It's definitely one of my favorite songs on this album. And the Leonardo DiCaprio shout out, out of nowhere, there's like no reason for it to be there, but it's, it like, it's so good and I feel like that's the reason why a lot of people listen to this song now number 14 malfunction this song has a really cool descending vocal effect and the beat really helps get that effect at some points in the song which I think really mixes together really good it's one of those songs that you could just you know be driving at midnight and it's just like really soft and one of those midnight drive songs and it's definitely one of my favorites on this album now dark queen kind of reminds me of the way life goes because I feel like Uzi really put a lot into this song not as much as the way life goes i think that you really feel what he feels on that song but in dark queen it's about his mom it talks about his childhood and it's mainly about his mom but he shouts out his grandmother his dad he talks about a lot of people and his childhood throughout this song and i really think that it's just a really really good song and another one of my favorites on this album and the last song number 16 everyone knows it EXO tour life no matter and it's it's really funny because no matter how much I listen to this song and it gets radio play and I hear it everywhere the song just for some reason to me never gets old and that's like very few songs can do that with me shout out to Uzi for just making a classic banger so that's been my review of love is rage 2 by Lil Uzi Vert cover art right here I mean I'm sure you guys have seen it throughout the whole video like I said if you guys really like this new thing that I'm trying to do with this music stuff um let me know in the comments let me know albums that you also want to see me review and if you don't like this new concept of the music videos let me know in the comments we won't do them anymore we want to do what you guys want to see so always let us know about that if you haven't already subscribe to the channel leave a like and i'll see you in the next one peace